Okay, uh, what I've done at this stage is I've actually mounted the, uh, the fixed magnet alternator onto our base here. Um, you should have a 3 8 by 3 and a half inch uh, bolt nut and washer and a 5 16 by 1 and a half uh, bolt to go ahead and mount this, you mount your DC, excuse me, your, uh, your alternator. If you, have, if you have a DC motor that you're adapting to this, um, go ahead and adapt it right now. This is the perfect time why everything's free and clear and you still have access to this easily. Um, uh, you might want to look ahead at my example of how I adapted one DC motor. Uh, the, the problem is, is, you know, they can all be different. So, you know, you're going to have to, uh, you know, mount your motor on center, however, uh, however you need to adapt it. Um, so, but right now what we want to do is, is, is mount whatever you're using and, and put our, our bottom uh, rotor in place here. You have a couple uh, uh, 5 8 galvanized washers to space this up above the nut so it doesn't rub. And, uh, and then just going to put it on finger tight and make sure everything's good to go. Okay, And uh, it may, seem, may seem, feel a little flimsy to you at first, uh, but actually once this whole, uh, the whole uh, rotor is built, um, it's going to be secured at the top and it's actually quite rigid. So um, we want we want to want to check that and check check all our hardware for fit. And why we have this on here, we want to take an, a pencil mark and run it all the way around this entire board onto our our base here. And and what that's going to do for us is we want to make sure that when we we're going to mount our stators here. And uh, some of you may have cut your, uh, your base uh, smaller or larger, or, uh, just depending on the cut of your wood. Uh, and, and this is where we'll compensate for that. The main thing is we need to make sure we have clearance off our, our rotor. We don't want anything to rub. So, so we're going to mark that pencil as line as our no-go line. So go ahead and do that, and uh, I'll see you at the next segment.